Okay, this video is going to be about working with line items once you have dropped them into the estimate from the price list or a macro. Uh, I guess the first thing I'm going to talk about is how to reorder them, because many times once you drop them into the estimate, they need to be reordered to some degree. Uh, the first thing you'll do is left click on any line item and then hold down that left mouse button and go ahead and drag it to where you want it to be and it's going to reorder it. Uh, you can also do this with multiple line items. So you could use the, say, the control key and highlight two of them and then left click, hold the mouse button down and drag them and they're going to be reordered. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to work on a single line item. So we're going to go ahead and click, double click this item Okay, and we're going to take a look at the quantifier. The quantifier is actually is a is a totally different video. Okay, uh, I really don't want to go into the quantifiers in this video uh, more than to to just talk about how to change them. Uh, we're gonna let's gonna let's change this to say I don't know 200 uh, instead of W for walls and press OK, and then you can see how it's changed the quantity. Okay, we have the unit of measure at square, it is square feet. It's going to show you a breakdown in material and labor, and then a total material and labor, and then a total price. Okay, uh, you don't really need to think about the codes uh, or the sections. Uh, right here, it's showing you that there is overhead and profit on this item, uh, and there also is sales tax on the materials. So let's go ahead and double click this item again. And remember, single clicking won't do it. Single clicking will not populate the this area over here. You're going to have to double click it. And then you could actually change the description. Ch uh, so scrape, wall, texture, uh, and paint. Let's go ahead and, whoops, I misspelled paint. <laughs> um, so you could change the description. Press OK. And there you have it. Scrape, wall, texture, and paint. I misspelled that too. Gosh, it's not my day. Uh, scrape, wall texture, and paint. And there you go. So anyway, um, if you wanted to change this to a miscellaneous item, you could. You're going to come over here and just press the miscellaneous button. Now I'm going to warn you, when you press the miscellaneous button, it's going to change some other things over here. You'll see how it changed the measure to each. Okay. And so if you wanted it to be square foot, you need to come back over here into this drop down box, choose square foot. Okay, you can come over here and change the price. Okay, let's put a dollar twenty-five in, and the labor. Let's go ahead and put a dollar fifty, and so with a quantifier, let's put a say a hundred. Okay, and let's press OK, and you can see how it's changed the quantity to a hundred. And here's the pricing: a dollar twenty-five, a dollar fifty. Here's the total. Okay, uh, now the next thing. Uh, would be the apply sales tax. This is materials only. All right, so you could you could do that because you see over here it says no now since we changed it to a miscellaneous item. So we're going to go ahead and press OK. It's going to change it back to yes. And let's see what else. Um, there are line item notes. We're going to talk about that in another video though. There's actually internal and standard line item notes. Uh, you, you know, you have all the process codes right here, the measure codes, and let's see, I guess the next thing I want to show you is go ahead and click on a line item and now right click on it and you have many different options here. You can include this item in overhead and profit, exclude the item. You see right here it's already included in overhead and profit you can go ahead and just press exclude and you see how there's an in there for no. So We're going to right click on it again. You can save this as a macro. We're going to talk about creating macros in a different video. Uh, apply sales tax to the item. Exclude sales tax. Let's go ahead and exclude it. You see how now it says in for no. And so there's, there's many different things you can do in the right click menu. If you hit edit task, it populates this area. 
And that's pretty much going to conclude this video. There's a lot of other things I need to tell you about working with these line items, but it's, they're going to need to be in separate videos. So please keep watching.